Hi, welcome to my new semester of my um, advanced Photoshop class, uh, which is going to be obviously totally online. Um, a lot of you have taken classes with me before, and you know just how much can get done online because I respond back to students pretty darn quick. And what I have in front of you is um, are examples of what some students have done as advanced projects for the illustration side. I'm not asking all of you to be illustrators. I know I have animators, I have web people, I have multimedia people, motion people, so but all of you need Photoshop experience and having Photoshop experience like this is pretty cool. Alright, it's um, advantageous to the portfolio interview process and I can't say more about it. These are examples of soft and hard products. These are obviously illustration related. But, as you will see in a minute, I have taken this class on two different roads. Some of you can actually go down both roads. Okay, so here is another thing that I've done. Um, for the design students, they can choose to do um, a series of three ads based on one overall topic like in this case this is on dolphins so you can see that this student did these on dolphins and I have some great movies that will take you through this entire process and really beef up your portfolio I mean how many of you need portfolio pieces raise your hand oh my gosh so illustration students it's up to you how far and how many you want to do I show and to get you excited, I show later in the semester for the illustration students in that week's module um, what other students have done um, even during the class and then worked with me after the class, after the semester was over. But back to the design students. I am only caring about the content in your portfolio and you being able to get a great job. So I just wanted you to see some of these really beautiful ads that students have done to beef up their portfolio. Okay, it's pretty amazing. Sorry, it's pretty amazing what students have done to beef up their portfolio, to take it to the next level, to um, add 20, 30 content pieces to it, or 10 or 20 content pieces to it. So you can just see the creativity can flow both in illustration and in design. So don't say to me that I haven't given you the chance to really work on your portfolio. And I want to work with you, all of you, individually, on portfolio pieces. I mean, this is, this is an incredible ability to build content. Okay? And um, uh, these are beautiful. These just are, are stunningly beautiful. Um, the, the graphics, the way they're framed, I don't want to get into this. I just want to show you, okay? So these are just amazing pieces. And I have all of this available to you. So you can just see the diversity of everything here. Um, I'm going to close that. I'm going to close this one and I'm going to, well first I'll go through it again. I mean painting this right there is exactly the same as painting this. They're just shapes and you just work your way to your inner shapes, right? I mean, for those of you that have had me in class, you just work your way to your inner shapes. And to show you what I'm talking about, look how this student, I know some of you have seen this before, but that's, it's not a toaster. Those are just shapes. So watch how this student, if I just play this very quickly, works their way from the larger shapes to the smaller shapes. And I have this little movie available for you so you can see how something gets built. I mean, that's worth $2,500. You can get $2,500 to $3,000 for painting that on the outside, which I mean in industry. So I think it's pretty darn cool. All right, so um, enough of that. Let's get to why this movie is there. Okay, so we're going to go through the handout very quickly. And again, um, I want to welcome you to this class, but if you have problems on Monday morning getting into this class, call that Canvas number right there, 877-362-2662, and tell them that you're having problems getting in the class. I mean, this is the typical stuff. I have dates that you need. I have 
um, all the material here. Hopefully I haven't made too many mistakes. And you see that I've given you all sorts of different assignments, but to give you a visual, because you're all visual people, rather than just all this, which you're going to have this at your beck and call. Over the weekend before the semester starts, I'm going to send you, obviously, this movie link and this F, um, first day handout syllabus. Okay, And we're just going to... Um, I want you to watch them plus for those of you that haven't seen my portfolio movie and my introduction movie and my motiv motivation movie those links will be there too but many of you already have so you don't have to rewatch them okay so I've even given you um, it, for those of you that don't know me I don't care about these I don't care about grades okay I let you turn in assignments over and over again to get them really good for your portfolio because you know what it either works or it doesn't there is no C. There is no D. I mean, you can earn one by not doing your part of it. I'll do my part of it, but you got to do your part of it. I want you to be as excited to be in this class as I am excited to teach you all the techniques and procedures and methods and all the Photoshop wonder and, and marvelous display. Um, I've broken this down into week one, week two, week three and four combined, week five, and then week six to 16. I know that sounds ridiculous, but it's not. For design students, I want you to choose if you want to go on the design track or illustration students, week six to 16, if you want the illustration track. And some of you will do both. Okay, so I want to take you through that. And um, the rest of this is just whatever. So, um, these, uh, this is the assignment list. This is the visual part of it. So this is week one and what you have to do for week one. Okay, this is week two. And I want you to um, get this stuff done. I want you to take it seriously. This is not about projects. You know me. It's not about just getting this dumb thing done or drawing a line around this Corvette. Okay, it's not. that's not it. I want to see how good you are on and remember how to draw paths. I want you to um, learn some really cool things about filters. For instance, I bet you didn't know that you can, um, I, I don't want to tell you till you get to the filters. I really don't want to tell you. But where you thought you had possibilities in filters, let's just say, let's say you thought you had 10,000 possibilities, you actually have 10 million possibilities. Okay, but I don't want to tell you that yet. I just want you to learn it as you go. All right? Because I ask you something at the start of that and I want you to answer the question. In fact, in that, I actually want you to answer a question. But then I don't think you guys have done polar coordinates. I don't think you even know what polar coordinates are. I don't think you've utilized a filter called vanishing point in 3D, taking 2D files and putting them into 3D perspective. Okay? Um, yes, 3D foreshortened perspective. It's pretty cool. So um, all of you are going to have to paint this mirror. Okay, you're going to have to paint it because design students need to know how to paint and illustration students need to know how to design. All of you need to know how to design, whether it's video, motion, interactive web media, uh, illustration. You all need to know how to design. So here, look, look, read just just for a second read this you may choose both if you want illustration and design content for your portfolio package you can for week 6 to 16 pick the design module so you can go there or the illustration module and let me worry about the grades okay yes I've set up canvas um, for both taking because uh, I have to grade things right so here is a close-up of what I've prepared for the design students. I've prepared movies to show you the the proper way to do it. I want you all to get good at doing thumbnails and and sketching out your ideas. Um, I want you to watch from the beginning stage of ideas to the final stage of execution. For the illustration students, I want you to learn how to do shapes. So you're going to paint this face and you're going to paint the iPhone if you haven't already, okay? For those of you that haven't painted a 3D iPhone, meaning one like this where you see three sides on it, you're going to do it over again. And please don't roll your eyes or say, oh my gosh, or if you're, in, if you're as creative as I think and hope you are, even if you have raw talent, 
even if you don't understand everything Photoshop can do, isn't that why you're in the class? I want you to fail. I want you to, and what I mean by that is, I want you to make mistakes. I want you to make lots and lots and lots of mistakes. How do you think I learned everything? Okay, so I want to take this movie and now go to um, the direction that uh, we go into Canvas. So you know that, let me move this up. And I don't like Firefox, but Chrome is acting weird. So if you click My Macomb, you're going to in, go into the My Macomb page where you put in your student ID and your password, right? And then you get over here on the left where you scroll down to the word Canvas, and then you go into the word Canvas. Now, if you don't have your class in this list over here or in this icon down here, like this is the class right here. If you don't have it, call that number, that number that's you know, on the first page of, of the syllabus that I gave you. But welcome to your class. There it is. I have no idea why the P is on that line. I'm going to edit it directly in front of you. I have no idea. See, the P is not on that line. I do not know why. Oh, well, I have no idea. This is like really pretty. I think I know why. So if I just make this a little wider, it uh, why is the P on that line? We will never know. Let me see if I can edit it again. Uh, let me let me actually uh, I don't know why that is on that line. I this is me not knowing. But anyway, um, I think because that's what they did. That's their issue. I can't, it's about the only headline I can't edit. Anyway, um, welcome to mistakes, right? Mistakes happen all the time. Okay, for those of you, click modules. That's basically where you have to be. Now I've given you everything in here. An opening announcement, I've given you um, the a high resolution of the assignment list and a low resolution of the assignment list. Again, what I'm talking about is this assignment list right here okay because I wanted you to be able to zoom in on it uh, by the way there are weekly dates that if you're wondering what the heck week 9 is well there's week 9 okay so um, when you're in the modules um, you will notice that uh, sorry when you're in the modules you will notice that each module um, okay I'll s slow down go through all of these they're just for you all right. Okay. The modules have a watch me first movie. Now, these movies, I'm, I'm saying it to you right now. I apologize that I didn't redo them. I didn't have to redo them. It's just that the movie, see, watch. See, I even say, please be aware that despite the on screen 2019 syllabus, your syllabus is 2020. Okay, so I'll just let you know right off the bat when this guy who's talking right here says, This is the week one movie that is going to help you get started on week one, and I'm going to try to have. See how I say it's 2019 fall? Well, ignore that, okay? Everything else is fine in the movie, okay? Other than the dates that are appearing right there, which are last, last year. So um, don't worry about it, okay, is all I want to say. All right, so um, just um, have patience with the Watch Me First movies, but please watch them. The Watch Me First movie for week two is the same way. But I tell you here in big bold letters, please be aware that despite the on-screen syllabus within blah, 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 it's the same updated thank you. I even tell you sometimes ignore the guy on screen when he says it. Okay, um, so week three and four, um, there are three assignments. You will love them. You will absolutely love them. And I suggest, especially with the filters one, that you do one beyond this one. Remember, portfolio, con repeat after me. The three important things that you're going through school for. Portfolio, portfolio, portfolio. And that includes real, real, real. Okay, as in motion reel or animation or demo reel. That's why you're in school. It's not about grade point averages, although that's important. It's not about grades. It's not about deadlines. It's about what you build for your portfolio. So content, 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 content is what we're talking about. This is designed to help you build content. Do you know that from week 6 to 16, you don't really have to do anything to get an A? 
I mean, you have to do a couple illustrations, okay, or a couple design ads. That's it. I care. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say this right. I care. I want to say this right. I have put all this out there and have hundreds and hundreds of movies on YouTube to help you. Do you have to watch them? No. But don't complain that you can't get a great job. And I know in this COVID environment, you know, the world is going to come back. And freelancing is a, a, a hard road to take, but and I'll help you throughout the semester learn about different avenues for how to make money. But agencies are still hiring and um, companies are still hiring illustrators and especially designers who can illustrate or illustrators who can design, especially motion design. So all of these here are built for you. Okay, I even have extra, look at this, I have extra assist tutorials. I even have more extra assist tutorials for you because I want you to know things. I want you to gain things. And every one of these movies after the semester is over is on YouTube under my playlist for Advanced Photoshop. So again, welcome to this semester. Welcome to this class. And if you have any issues with me anytime, please don't use um, while the semester is on dropbox.com or Google Drive to send me stuff. Use Canvas. So when you go into your grades, all right, um, your grade book, or when you go in to submit something to me, like an assignment, like when, I guess I should say that, like, uh, I can't believe I said like in the same sentence. Oh my God, like four times. I should be shot. Um, each one of these assignments, like, <laughs> I said it again, the paths assignment drop box, anything that says drop box in Canvas is where you submit. You can submit multiple files. You can submit one today, another one tomorrow, another one the next day, another one the next day. But please give me PSD files unless I specifically ask for um, PDF files or JPEGs. I want your PSD file. And please make sure in Photoshop that you save as a couple of times during the assignment. Don't just rely on one file to not corrupt. So save as and back up. I'm going to show you a screen here. You see this, this drive on my screen right there? That automatically through Time Machine backs up every half hour. Did you hear that? So if my computer poops out, I have my file. I haven't lost it. My computer's not gone. And I have a backup two drive too. That every like week I'll back up from backup one to backup two. So I have two copies of it. And I don't keep them in the same place. Now, I don't want to get off track here. So every single module has the word Dropbox, which can take a two, 300 megabyte file. So don't worry about how big your PSD files are. Every single one of these can, 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 can take it. So there's a Dropbox there for Vanishing Point. I want your PSD file. Don't give me a screenshot. Okay, so um, how do you contact me? You go to the inbox. You click Compose. You select your course. Hopefully your course is there. Let me see which one this is. Make sure it's, no, that's winter. Here is fall. So you click this button for two to the two. You click Teachers. You click Brian's name. You type in, like, let's say it's the path assignment. So you go Path Question. And you type your question. So you type your question and you click the paper clip and you, you attach your PSD file. What will I do? I'll take your PSD file, create a movie, and embed a movie right back in here so you can get back on the road. Remember at the start of this movie I said that online is pretty cool? Because let's say it's a Monday, Wednesday on-ground class. Let's say on Wednesday night you have this major question and you can't proceed further until Monday when you're in class and talk to the instructor. Um, you send me that Monday night or Wednesday night and I'll have it back to you Thursday morning and you can get on your way Thursday morning. So that's it. I mean, most of you haven't waited more than 24 hours to get something back from me. So, oh gosh, do I look forward to having you in class, to experiencing this journey together. I really, really am excited for this class. I really am. So, um, 
I want to bring that up again because obviously I'm an illustration student and I really like illustrations but I'm also a design person I make a lot of money off of design so I want to take you through a really fun journey as I said before um, stick with me and we'll I, I'll help you even after the semester to build your portfolio but please consider um, I know times are tough I know that um, I, I guess what I want to say is I know times are tough and I know you've gone through a lot and I know some of you have lost your jobs and I know some of you have had to change jobs um, but let's just concentrate on what we can okay so um, I'll see you soon.